Hey everybody, this is Will Doggett, Ableton Live Certified Trainer. I just want to say thanks so much for checking out this tutorial. Now the tutorial you're about to watch is a full lesson from my brand new Getting Started with Ableton Live 11 course. You can find more information about that by clicking the link in the description. But I also have a free gift for you just for watching and checking out this tutorial. Click the link in the description and you can sign up to get my free Getting Started with Ableton Live 11 guide. All right, let's waste some more time. Let's get to it. So in this lesson, I want to talk about what I think is going to be one of the least talked about but most impactful features of Ableton Live 11, and that is the brand new templates feature. Now, if you've been a From Studio Stage student for a while, you know uh, we talk about templates a lot, whether it's templates for using keys with Ableton Live, uh, templates for tracks. Uh, in fact, the first part of our three-part framework for using tracks is, number one, create a template. Um, I, in File Management for Live Performance course, we talk about storing templates, sets, and songs separately um, so that you have easy access to them. Let me get to the point. The brand new templates feature in Live 11 makes using templates really, really easy. Let me show you what this looks like. So over in Ableton Live, what I want to do is set up a brand new template. I'm going to call this my guitar template. Um, and so I've got my guitar plugged into input two. Um, I want to pull up a guitar kind of preset that I've already made. So I'm going to go over to audio effects, go to utilities, and then under audio effect rack, uh, I have this jazz box clean preset that I've got loaded. It's got a tuner, everything I need in order for me to just play kind of a basic uh, clean um, guitar thing. Now I want to start with this as kind of my basic uh, guitar template. Now I, I might also use this for kind of the simple songwriting thing. So what I'm going to do is also double click to create this 909 uh, drum kit sound. And so what I could essentially do is really quickly reach over to my push here right and have drum sounds so i've got my guitar sounds programmed as well as having my drum sounds programmed. so what i essentially what what i want to do is save this as a template as a starting place um, that i can use kind of going forward so what i'm going to do is go up to the file menu and again that's the menu up here upper left hand corner of live screen we're going to go file and i'm going to do save live set as template so i'm going to select that and then i'm going to make this guitar template okay so now that's going to get saved into the live uh, user library. So I can access that across any project. So let's open up a new live set. I'm not going to save this. Okay. And for dramatic effect, I'll close the browser. I'll reopen the browser. And if I go down to user library now, you see we have this guitar template live set ready to go. So I can double click to open this. And there's my template, right? Uh, there's my MIDI drum rack. So again, if I go right over, that's ready to go, locked and loaded. And then there's my input for guitar. Now, another way to access this is to go over to the template section uh, in Live's browser. This is a brand new update to Live's browser. And you see that template available here as well. Um, and so what's really cool about this templates feature, again, you could go in and make your own template much like I did there, build a guitar template, build a template for using tracks. Um, however, you know, whatever template you need to have created, you can save that directly in your live user library and access that directly from the browser. It makes it really, really simple to find this, uh, which I think is great. The other thing I want to point out though is included in live are some just kind of starter templates. So I could double click here, go to this podcast template. Uh, and again, it's got some preset effects loaded in, um, a few things kind of dialed in for music, for ambience, and then voiceover uh, and presets for each of those uh, different devices. So what I would encourage you to do is dig into the included templates that come with Ableton Live right now. But then also, on top of that, create your own templates. Open templates you're using right now. Uh, open your track template you've created. Again, for first part of the three-part framework for using tracks. Open that template and save it in Ableton Live as a template so that you can access it from that templates section. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this tutorial. As a reminder, don't forget about that free gift that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Click the link in the description to download that for free. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I would love to have you give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever we post new content, start a live stream. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye.